Oh yeah, here we go, guys. We're Marion County Sheriff's Office right here. And let's see, we just had an incident with one of the guys over there filming, and I wanted to see what's going on. Hi there. Yeah, I was gonna see, I was just uh, contacted by a gentleman over there that had uh, kind of like undercover clothes on. And I was basically, I just wanted to get some information from the public works facility over here. I guess that's what that is, or the fleet maintenance. And uh, there's one of the crashed uh, patrol cars down there I wanted to get a photo of. This area is not marked off at all for being restricted access. And I was kicked out of there. And there's no state law or anything like that, so. Would you like to speak with my deputy to see? I guess, I don't know. He, he said as a major that was a supervisor. First name? I'm just not going to give it. I already did retaliation with him. I don't know. I don't want any more. So. Okay, no problem. If you just want to have a seat, it'll just be a minute. Okay, okay. thanks. Alright, so put away out your hand. Oh, here you go. Turn. Um, I was just trying to get uh, a couple footage pieces of the car that's over there. There's there's no restricted area over there. It doesn't say restricted authorized personnel. Um, and it's right off of main public access. And one of the deputies kicked me out of there, said he's going to trespass me for being over there. And this is all publicly funded, public facility. And I was going to. I get that, but there are some off limit areas. Uh, you got to mark them. What, what are, where are they listed as marked? In your policy, state law? You can't just arbitrarily make things up. Right. But you can't just walk into a government building either. Sure. You yeah. So and it says right there, see how it says right there, restricted personnel only yeah, right there? I, I get that. Authorized. So what's your name? I'm not going to give my name. I, he's got, I've got enough retaliation with that guy over there. So. Well, well, I need your name, sir. No, you don't. Uh, if you want to do anything, I need I can remain name. anonymous. Wow. What do you mean do anything? I just want to go over there. And, I was doing a story on how safe the cars are, and that's what I was coming here to do because there's one that has some damage on the front. Are you part of the press? I, yes, I am. So. Do you have your credentials? I don't. I don't issue any credentials after what happened back there. I don't give any credentials like that. I'm a freelancer, stringer, citizen journalist, and that's where I go from it. Uh, there's no state issued credentials. I get that, but we need to know who you are. I mean, you could be Whoa. over there planting bombs. So you, How do we know? You could be Whoa. over there planting bombs. You could be Whoa. over there planting bombs. Because I, I, I dispelled the belief what I was doing. I told him I was just getting some footage of the car and I want to do a public records request for the fleet management and that's it. Okay. So you can't you show just, him your credentials that you're there's, part of the press? I can, I can print my own credentials out at my desk. There's no state issued credentials. I don't understand. Sir, when you come in at the gate. There's no gate. Yes. Okay, the gate up at the front, yeah. Yes. Okay, there are certain restricted areas. There are things that, you know, we need to know why you're here. You sure don't. I can come here under, under 11th Judicial Court case called Smith v. Cumming. That says I can come in here and record. I can. I mean, you says you've, it says you've been serving since 2000. I'm sure you had prior law enforcement, but. <clears throat> um, like, literally, just can't just arbitrarily make things up. And to require identification on someone just coming in making a complaint, that's not, you can't do that. They can, people can make anonymous complaints because there's retaliation with law enforcement. I know you're in the circle, but. And there's there's even a court case for trespassing people off of public property, you know? So. Hi, sir. Just... Yeah, no problem. I'm just, I'm just letting you know those different things. And uh, this guy wanted my name and information here in the beginning. I don't know why. Hurry. Yeah, so it's, just, it's not just like a, a full military institution here. So it's, you're tax funded, tax paid, and that's the whole, that's what the point I'm making. That, that Smith v. Cummins court case is very strong in Florida. So we'll take it. He doesn't respect First Amendment protect activities or any court cases here. I just, I know that it's new for him, but that's the only thing we can we can assume when someone wants that. They don't train you guys just to like fully just like suspect people all the time, like planting bombs. Like that was, that was a harsh statement. Cause I, I definitely down here with it. What about the news?
I know a lot of people are tired and fed up of things and, and getting killed for people on their necks. I, and I think they're lashing out because of that, but I'm not here doing that. I've treated you because I've treated. Can, can a name tell you if I'm going to do something? want us to respect you and trust you we need to know who you are show us your credentials so we know who you say you are that sounds like nazi stuff like seriously you need to see my papers no it's not nazi i mean like no i know but what, what is what is knowing who i am going to be a difference besides you running me on david or elvis and then pulling my information and then i file complaints with fdle there's there's no reason i just want to come in here and get something and go that's it I mean, like, with, without joking about it, credentials can be printed out from my printer at home. And I show them to you, you're like, oh, okay, cool, but there's... You're sitting here telling me you can do all this stuff. You can use a false name. But I'm not. Well, how do I know that? Because I don't want to give... I don't want to. Because after what happened with that guy down there, I don't want to give anybody my his name. Okay, well, if he's saying that's a restricted area, that's a restricted area. We just can't have people walking through the sheriff's department. You sure can, and anywhere, anywhere it's not anywhere it's not restricted, you can. Okay, so you have restricted access put on your front door. No, but we have floor okay, state. Well, how about I just come to your house and just walk through can, and video record? Can I finish? We have floor state statutes eight ten o two that allows trespass. That's what that does. Trespass is on that. Okay. Well, I'm fixing to find out. Yeah, that's all. I just want to find out. It, like it, you can use those examples of someone coming to my house, but you, you really can't because there's already state law. What's the difference? There, you have you have uh, federal, state, and local funding, and that Smith case, Smith Reed Cummins is one of those ones that apply for it, allows coming here. Florida Statute 119 is the public records one that allows me to go to where the records are held. I know you're looking away. You don't want to hear it because I'm telling you everything that's that's lawful. Uh, but why should I listen to you? You won't even give me your name. I don't want to give you my name. Because of retaliation. Because I told you, because what happens is then you run me on David, Elvis, or whatever, FCIC, NCIC, pull it up. Then I file a complaint against someone for running my name for doing that, which you have no reason to do. No, it's an investigation. Oh, so you can, you can, oh, you're an invest, you're. Well, I'm fixing to. So is that a misdemeanor or a felony or an investigation? It don't have to be anything. 901-151 is the Florida statute for stop and ID in this state. You don't think I know all this stuff for a reason, sir? Sorry guys, I don't mean to I don't mean to get you that way. So just be careful. Just just because there's an investigation doesn't mean you can detain and ID someone. You have to suspect them of committing a crime. And then you can get ID. So more than likely, that's why this guy's at a desk, because the unfortunate thing is he's here with um, um, with uh, not known laws, I guess. Do you have complaint forms back here? All right, thank you. Can you just want one, sir? Say? Can you just want one? Yeah, just one, if I can take one with me. You want to fill it out now? No, I'll take it with me. Thank you. I appreciate it. He's asking, what can we do?
It's just go. just that one. There's one that has like a little left front damage on there. That's it. I All right. So I need a contact number mm -hmm. because I'm gonna have to get you with our public information. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'll give you that. I don't mind giving that because that's it's just the name because it it literally has um it has come about where I'm, I'm ran an FCIC. Right. I mean, you can't just be walking wherever you want here. Yes, you, uh, you, you have as to long be as escorted. As long okay. as it's a non-restricted. So area. What is your number? So the first one I'm gonna give you is nine zero one. Point one fifty one dot one fifty one. That one fifty. No, I need your. Phone that's what I'm giving. I'm giving you that nine zero one one fifty one. And then, all right, this the phone number is three zero five nine two nine three six three seven. And that other one's a statue. Just read yeah, up on no. that. Just read it. Don't so scratch through it. Read up on it. You don't care about that. You just. You, um. <laughs> so I will get with the. Public information officer. Yeah. They will give you a call uh -oh. and they will escort you where you want to go. So if I go where... I mean, we're open till five. If you want to sit here and wait, they get to you, they get to you. Just read up on that statue. You, you you were going on a route where you are about to violate rights which require me to ID myself. Right. So Just read up the statue. Do us all a big favor. You've got two... You're, since 2020, you're, you're new right. on this. So, like I'm telling you, you can either sit here and wait. Do that. This up. complaint forms for you because you're, you're literally intimidating me to give me your ID for when I'm coming to a public building. Just read up on that statue for me. Say, okay, I will. Okay, I will. All right, so he just got on the phone with another supervisor. But he's wanting, yeah, he's wanting the video record like a wreck police car. So he, he's saying he's doing something on a documentary about it, really how safe they are. He says they're busy. Mm -hmm. They can probably not going to get to you today. Okay. But here's his number. You call them. Yeah. They can schedule you where you can be escorted where you want to go. I just don't like being escorted. It's just it's weird. Like I mean, what what is off limits that you're saying? What arbitrarily are you saying that's off limits? Well, I mean, like the maintenance <clears throat> department training. You know, anything behind these doors is. Off oh yeah, because it's it's like I said, it's marked. It says it's down here restricted. Don't have to be marked. Like over there is off limits. Uh, you need to be escorted. But to, yeah, I was gonna say to be threatened to, to be trespassed and and ultimately after you trespass you get arrested. That mm -hmm. you gotta have some you gotta have some reason about it. Like I said that Smith v. Cumming, those are all what we can do to come in and document uh, public ability here, where it says on my honor I will never betray my badge and integrity, my character, or the public trust. And the very last line says I always uphold the Constitution, my community, and the agency I serve. But none of that's done here. Okay. Well. You yeah. can hang out here all okay. you want. I appreciate um, it. Stay away from over there. Uh, call will you that get office. Will you get it marked if if you guys are going to threaten to arrest people for it? Look, I'm not here to arrest No, I'm just saying, will you, you do... Know, I don't know why you're making <clears> this difficult. Just stay away from over there. You can go there as long as you're escorted. Because Smith v. Cummins allows me to document. It's a court case that's been has precedence in, okay. in Florida. And I want to be able to document over there without you guys setting something up. I want to be able to see that car so I can see how safe they are because that's what we're doing. I get that, but if you are who you say you are, part of the press, yeah. call that number. They will take you wherever you want. I don't live in this area. I live in South Florida. How am I supposed to do that when I'm... Oh, I'm sorry. You know, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Okay. Uh, just stay away from over there. Uh, I don't... I... You're not allowed to be over there. You've been told. Okay. So I guess I go to jail if I go back over there. Just... That's the challenge I have to accept, right? I'm just saying, if that's what I have to accept, and then... 
the Tampa case that's out of here that you can't trespass people from a public ground. Okay. But that's They're... it. That's what I have to, I have to accept. I have to accept that challenge that if I go back over there, just do what I'm doing in, a, in an open area in a publicly funded place. The taxpayers can come in here and make sure that you guys are doing what you do right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be arrested for it. Got it. Have a good day. All right, guys, we're going to be uh, heading out of here. Unfortunately, you got hard hits. Serving since 2000. So we're going to head out. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for liking, subscribing. And uh, we're going to head over on this direction over here. See you guys soon.